Are you ready, boys? In the entire state of Oklahoma, the population is approximately equal to the Dallas-Fort Worth metropolitan area. Of course, Tulsa was like a hub of western swing. For a brief shining moment, Tulsa was the epicenter of the rock and roll scene. Listen to Clapton before he came to Tulsa, and then listen to him after. We went looking for a place to play some country music with blues kind of guitars. You know, I can I can play with one of these bands I love and work hard all night for four or five hours. We make 50 bucks. I knew how to play when I showed up to Tulsa, and everything other than that they've taught me. This is like a whole melting pot. It's crossroads of America, really. This was at one time officially or unofficially called outlaw territory. I said, I have no boots and I have no hat. They said, we'll take care of all that. It was officially Indian territory. This is the home of cowboys and Indians. By the old shut up sign, right? Yep. Like I've always said, we're all the same band, the rest is bullshit. <laughs> he plays the field, he plays from here. He just loses himself in it, and it's so fun to play with him. This music is like a crash course in American history to me. Had they not bought food for those people, they would have died. In Oklahoma, we went through not just the Great Depression, but we went through the Dust Bowl. We had a double whammy in the 1930s. When it's dry, it's, it's powdery and dusty and, and horrible. If you ever hit the back roads out around Stillwater, that's what you'll find, you know, it's just this real deep orange, orange earth. And when it's wet, it's clay and it sticks to everything. <laughs> I used to I used to always say if you haven't been in still water, then you couldn't be red dirt. But you know, I don't know. Garth Brooks would he lived around there, was just a young kid, but he'd come out to our gigs and we we were always pretty good about getting people up and wanted to sing. Bob and Tom were both pivotal guys in Garth's career. We don't need a gatekeeper. We don't need somebody to decide, oh, you're red dirt and you're not. When that people call us to, to uh, book us for a show, like say if it's a, a blues festival, and they say, well, are you a blues band? And we'll say, yeah, sure. man, we're a blues band. Da, 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 we took off. Yeah, we're a country band, man. And the message and the friendship. Once you play music with them, it's almost like having sex. Really. It, it is family, you know, you know, that's the way I look at it. I mean, this is my brother here. And that's the source of all the real magic. Here. That's, and that's a real deal, man. The music will heal you. Yeah. Because I swear that when you go from an A minor to a D9, it's more important what that does to you than your religion or how much money you have. Here I found my musical roots and my reason for playing on. And that's how I got hired with Bob Wells.